Hello, wine lovers. It is I, Kimberly, your fancy wine connoisseur. Today we are reviewing wine, not on a dime, but on a quarter. Hey guys, so today we're celebrating 250 subscribers. Yay! So we're drinking a $25 wine. That's what I meant by wine on a quarter. Um, so thanks for subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching. I'm happy to celebrate 250 subscribers with you. Um, when I was selecting my $25 wine, I didn't know if I should just go in it blind, just go to the store, pick up some $25 wine, or do some extensive research. I chose to do a little bit of both. I just went into the store and I used an app that I'm active on called Delectable where you scan the, well you take a picture. You take your phone and you take a picture of the wine label and it'll give you kind of what other people think of it. They have expert reviews and user reviews. Um, so it's pretty handy if you go into the store blind you can like just quickly look and say like, oh this one's rated seven, that's probably not good. Ooh, this one has a 9.1 expert review. Um, experts usually, I think they just have to have a verified Twitter account. They're not necessarily wine experts. That is one of the flaws of the system. Um, you can add me if you're interested in trying Delectable. I'm Kimmy D Day. Yes. Um, so I wasn't sure. I I thought I was gonna do a cab, but then I was like, uh, uh, I'm gonna do Chardonnay because <laughs> I felt like drinking Chardonnay today. So. Without further ado, my $25 wine is J Vineyards Russian River Valley 2016 Chardonnay. It was priced at $32, but it was on sale at Kroger for $23.99. I tried to get close to $25. Don't be complaining that I only spent $24 on y'all. Um, <laughs> this wine is from J Vineyards. This has been kind of established California winery for I think 30 years, 30-ish years, but in like 2015 they were acquired by the Gallo Wine Company, so they are under the Gallo umbrella. Um, yeah. This wine is 14.3% alcohol by volume. That is really high for Chardonnay. I'm excited to get white girl wasted on this. Um, they have a cool uh, J on this top. This one I keep keep touching. I like touching the, the J. Um, <laughs> this Chardonnay is aged for nine months in 100% French oak. 25% uh, of it is new. The rest has been used before, I guess. <laughs> Old oak, but that kind of gives more flavor to the wood, so don't think it's gross. Um, this is an award-winning wine. It is rated 91 points by a wine enthusiast, so yeah. I've never tried a J Vineyards uh, wine before because I couldn't afford it, but we're celebrating today, so let's crack open this Chardonnay. Okay, so now we have our Chardonnay ready to go. Um, I think part of the reason why I picked a Chardonnay, oops, sorry. <laughs> part of the reason why I picked a Chardonnay is because it's not something I usually splurge on. I feel like I would usually buy a red wine if I was gonna like spend more money at a restaurant or splurge at the store. So I wanted to celebrate white 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 wine drinkers everywhere. Um, sometimes I feel like they get the shaft from the wine world and people judge them. You can't really be a wino if you like white wine. Um, but I have to say, first of all, I don't think that's true. There are some really delicious white wines. And me, I started drinking wine seriously and more studiously about two years ago. And when I went into it, I had that kind of mentality and I really didn't like Chardonnay. But over like the course of studying wine and doing the show, I have grown to love my former enemy. It's one of my favorites now. Um, I Now that I know what food pairs really well with it, 
Um, I think it's a delicious um, aromatic white wine. I like Sauvignon Blancs. I like Chenin Blancs. I've really grown my palate to love some white wines and I encourage people to uh, keep an open heart with their wine drinking. So let's drink this fancy Chardonnay. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful golden color. Oh, is that what the extra $15 gets you? Is that what, is that what it is? So it's this beautiful golden straw color. You can hold it over there. It looks good. Better taste good because I paid $25 for it. It smells kind of like, um, let me get another whiff here. It smells like cream soda and it smells like lemon cream, like ice cream, lemon cream soda. Is that a thing? I'm just making it up. It kind of smells like cream soda and lemon. Like think of a dream sickle, but instead of orange, it's like a lemon sickle, like lemon and vanilla. That's what it smells like. It smells like an ice cream treat. I like it, the smell of it. Let's taste it. <laughs> it kind of tastes like I just described the smell. This is one of the creamiest um, Chardonnays that I've tried. And maybe because it's like a legit Chardonnay, not a cheapo Chardonnay. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is really delicious. That $15 that I paid extra for this went a long way. Oh my gosh. I've been missing out being a cheapo. Just kidding. I love cheap wine. That's why, that's the whole premise of this show. But sometimes you have to treat yourself. Like when you get 250 subscribers, you have to try this delicious Chardonnay. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there's a kind of a crisp, buttery, creamy, biscuity kind of taste to it. Um, it's kind of the same biscuity taste that you would get if when you like swallow a um, champagne, which makes sense because champagne is just double fermented Chardonnay. But uh, I have never since I haven't had a fancy Chardonnay before. I've never experienced it actually drinking Chardonnay and that's one of my favorite things about drinking champagne is that like doughy, biscuity like finish and this has it. So I'm like in love. What would I rate this wine? Um, I don't know. I've never given a five out on this show. And considering this is the nicest wine that I've drank on this show, I'll give it a five. Five out of five. This is the best Chardonnay I've ever tried. It's really good. Would I pay full price for this? Would I pay $30 for a bottle of wine? Ugh. I'm such a cheapo. Um, but, you know, if there's like a special occasion or it's like anniversary dinner wine <laughs> for me. I mean, some people might buy a $100 wine for their anniversary. <laughs> My boyfriend doesn't really like wine, so I would buy this one and just drink it myself. There you have it. Thank you for tuning in to Wine on a Dime. Thank you for subscribing. We're celebrating 250 subscribers today. Um, this has been my review of Jay Vineyard's 2016 Russian River Valley Chardonnay. It is absolutely delicious. Um, I'm glad that I decided to celebrate my subscription milestone by drinking more expensive wine because this is good. I usually, like I said, usually will uh, get red wine if I'm splurging, but now maybe not.